And I'm David. And we are talking about Survivor, which it is blindside after blindside after blindside this season. Island of the Idols, it's you good. guys. But, but first, first, if you're new to this channel, please click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Yes, and if you want to support us on Patreon, everyone's doing it. Click the link in the description. Go for it. All right, so we come back from Lyra was at Tribal last week, right? Uh, yes. And Karishma's feeling okay. Well, you know, that's the route she's gonna take. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay guys. It's, it's a game. We're good, we're good. Yeah. It's okay. And I think that's a good strategy to take. You can't yeah. come back guns blazing when you've been like the I mean, alternate plan. Unless like if, you're Aaron, if, but yeah. If, yeah, exactly. But like, you know, she recognizes that, you know, if Vince had an idol, I would have been the one to go. Yep. So I just need to maybe just play nice with these people and not rock the boat right now. Good strategy, I think, for yes, Karishma. I agree. Fine. Yes. Well, then Aaron and Missy get to talking, and they're like, Dean and Chelsea. We're are seeing a bit pretty a close. Cuddle, 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 snuggle. Are, are a happening. Uh huh. And you know, of course, Aaron's like, ah, I gotta get back in control. Yeah. I'm itching. I'm <laughs> he itching, can't guys. handle it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he's making those targets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But right. what we're learning in this episode is that Missy is connecting with Aaron. She is. She's like, we. I get him, mm -hmm. we're both military. Yes. yes, yes, we're kind of seeing the same thing. Right. They're talking about the Dean and Chelsea thing. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this combo is she's like, well, he ain't pulling his weight. For Dean. Yes. Yes, which is true. We were <laughs> saying this last week. We yes. were like, where's, where's the whole, like, Dean is horrible uh -huh. puzzles? Right. And also, like, everybody's like, well, Dean's, like, strong and physical. Well, how is he no. helping physically? No, he's not. So Missy's calling it out. She yeah. calls it like she sees it. I like, I like it. that. Yep. So she and Aaron are kind of connecting. Even though there's this all-girls alliance, yes. Missy's kind of got this side thing going with Aaron. Yeah, and see. they kind of talk about, like, Krish was a really doing anything. Right. Yeah, she's bottom of the barrel here. Mm -hmm. But Missy points out she's a vote for me. Yeah. She's my girl at the Alliance. Yeah. So let's look elsewhere. Yes, exactly. Smart Missy. So strategizing there. Then we go to Vokai and Jamal is still kind of down in the dumps. He's just not happy about his... Another he's, one. He's kind of like be Aaron. In control. Where, yeah. Where's my control? Why, why am I at the bottom? Right. The whole tribe, I guess, They're is like, like we should go, go to, the, to beach. the beach. Yeah, we're going out. And he's just like, nah, mm -hmm. like, I don't want the heat, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. But yeah. then on, you know, one-on-one -on -one to camera, he's like, I want to hang out with these people. Yeah, right. I want to hang back. Right. But now here's where I'm confused. Uh-huh. Good. I get it. He wants to sulk back at, Fine. Uh, at camp. Yeah. Why would anybody just leave him by himself? Well, because though? here's where I think we give Jamal a little bit of credit because he says, oh, I don't want to go out in the sun. Yeah. Like, I'm feeling bad around these people. I don't like them. But he's alone and he takes the opportunity to look for that idol. Exactly. Yeah. He could very easily just wanted to stay at camp by himself and everybody else wants to go to the beach and I get it. But then that's when one person steps up to the plate and is like, you know what, I'm gonna, I need to be out of the sun today too. Yeah. <laughs> and you just don't leave him alone. Don't leave him alone. Because that's what you do when you're alone by yourself. Yeah. You go look for idols. That's right. Especially when that person is kind of on the bottom. Yeah. Or on the outs a yeah. little bit, right? Like Jamal was blindsided by the last vote that we saw on the Vokai tribal situation. Right. So everybody who's in the majority should know to kind of keep your eye on that person. Yeah, they did not. So guess what? Jamal finds an idol. Good for him. So then a boat pulls out. Oh yes, now we get our <laughs> Island of the Idols delivery mail is here. With, then uh, this is, I think, one of the best ones that we're ever going to get because yeah. it's Nora and she's a crazy person. Well, but... It, and it's not even written down. No. It's like you guys have to choose. Which is, well, oh. Okay. I also like this. Yes. Because now it's real survivor. It's not a it's not potentially a producer choice, you know what I mean? Like Right, we questioned we're that we last did. week. But now we're seeing the tribe have to make the decision. I like yes. it. And of course, most people are like, uh, I don't want that target on my back. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Me, just the just the person heading off in the boat. They're yeah. like, let's get rid of them. Yeah. They don't want to risk that. No. So the first suggestion is like, let's just draw, like draw randoms. Straws. Yeah. Well, Kelly. She doesn't like that. She uh, she has a what is the saying? She has a goat in the race. A horse in the race. A <sighs> dog in the fight. One of those. <laughs> no goat. She's like, ugh, this can make or break me. Yes. This person, I, I honestly was like waiting for her to be like, I I suggest so and so go. Uh -huh. Like, I'm sure she could. <laughs> 
couldn't play that off. Yeah. But, like maybe trying to figure out like how do I pick an ally to go? Yes. But there are him and Han. Uh -huh. What do we do? And she's kind of like, I don't know if we should draw yeah. straws. She's like, That's like, because she I'm knows that out. like. She lied about Island of the Idols. So if somebody comes up and comes back and blows up her game, yeah. no bueno. No. So, you know, she kind of says, like, yeah. I don't know if we should draw. And everyone else is like, rah, rah, rah. and then right. Nora's like, well, I'll go. Uh, I want to go. Nobody wants to go. I'll go. Yeah. In perfect Nora fashion. Perfect. We already know exactly who Nora is. And, and she's like, her. everyone else is like, okay, yeah. you go. You go. You do that. You go, Nora. Because they all kind of want to get her out anyway. Hunky Dory. <laughs> Nora on the boat. Let's. Go, what's this? Oh, Robin, Robin Sandra. Sandra. Wow. Watermelon. Oh. All right, all right, right. She's just downing watermelon. <laughs> Sarah's having flashbacks to Jackson. Jackson, I'm Big like, Where, what? Where? <laughs> Why? Why more watermelon? <laughs> and, and Sandra and Rob are now explaining to her, we're going to teach you about the power of persuasion. Her, okay, great. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> so, Rob is explaining how he has persuaded right. people in the Right, now this, I loved this. Mm -hmm. I love this. Flashbacks to old seasons. Yes. We see some great moments of persuasion yeah. through the years. Right. We get to see Sandra. We get to see Rob. Yeah. Uh, really wonderful stuff. Come back to Nora. Yeah. Nora. It's, like oh. she, it's like she would have had a bag of popcorn, like enjoying yeah. these old scenes, but all she has is watermelon, and she's just like gnawing at the rind. Like... like just, this is Rob and Sandra talking to you. Like, take a minute. I know you're hungry. Breathe. But, like, let's be classy about yeah, it. You're, like, vacuuming up watermelon. <laughs> like, slow down. So they're like, here's what we got for you. Uh -huh. We're going to tell you about your next immunity tribal. Right. Great. Oh, cool. Tell oh, me not everything. Not tribal, sorry. A next immunity challenge. Yes. Great. Tell me everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's going to be blindfolded and a collar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you need to persuade your tribe to have you be the collar. Oh, I love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes, yes, yes. And Sandra's like, do you want to take a second? Eat your watermelon. <laughs> Think about it. She literally said, eat your watermelon. Think about it. And Nora's no, like, no, I got that. I think that sounds great. Let's do Love it. it. <laughs> what? And I mean, humor aside, I'm like, Nora, you are not the person mm. to ever do this. No. She, her tribe does not respect her. No. Does not love her. No. She, on a good day, could not persuade them to do anything. Nor do I think she should be the caller for this challenge. Okay? So, like, you're not good at persuading people, and that's not the right role for you. So just let it go. All of okay? it. All but of she it. can't resist, you know, the opportunity to have an idol for the next couple of tribals, even if it means that she's risking or, her vote. Or, but at if the not, next you lose your vote. Okay, great. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because, of course, she's, she has perfect confidence in herself that she's going to be able to pull this she off. She has perfect confidence in herself, but she's also just, like, so excited to be, like, sitting here with Rob and Sandra, and, like, they're talking to her about the game, and she's on Survivor, and yes. she's like, yes, let's play this game. Right. Let's do yeah, this. Right. So I get that. Uh -huh. Huh. But I loved it because she like bounces back off to the boat and she's like headed back to camp and Rob says, but is her perception reality? And I was like, no. yes, Rob, that's exactly <laughs> the problem here. Uh -huh. She is like, I got this, but in she no doesn't. world she doesn't does she it. have this. She doesn't got it. And here's what happens. <laughs> she goes back to camp and she's cooked up the worst lie. The worst that I can remember in Survivor. I don't know how I'm it from is A to Z when this boat, how she came up with this. It is less than half-baked, oh. okay? Like, she, it, they're tripping her up with one follow-up question to her plan, right? She comes back and she says, you all, okay, everybody, I know the next challenge, and I can give you all the details, but you all have to agree unanimously what my role is going to be. And they're wait, like, so wait, but first, like, how, like, how do we, why, how does it work? How do we like, know you're gonna the roles? tell you. No, 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 just like, trust me, like, just, you just unanimously say it, and then I'll give you the information. But we don't know what the roles in the challenge are. How can we unanimously agree? Just unanimously agree. But unanimously agree that I get to pick my role. That's okay. what I meant to say. Okay. Like, she's already fumbling. It. All right, we <laughs> unanimous, unanimously agree. Yeah, because okay. they're like, whatever, Nora, fine. Sure. I pick your role. She's like, okay, I'm the caller. Okay, great. I'm the and caller. And it's the blindfold. And they're going to be blindfolded. And then, like, it was almost like, and what else? 
we all know that challenge. We yeah. all know there's a challenge uh -huh. where they're blindfolded yeah. and there's a collar. Yeah. So if that's the information you just brought to us, that's nothing. <laughs> And then what? They're like, uh huh, and? And she's like, you know, and. And so Jamal's like, so what made you think that you would be the best caller? And she's like, well, you all decided. Yeah, no, you already agreed. It's already happened. And they're like, but you knew that you were trying to become the caller. Mm -hmm. Why did you think you would be the best at it? And but she's that's like, just what I wanted. well, that's, that's just, just what I, I just, I guess I just assumed I that I would be the caller. Like, why would I pick otherwise? It just oh is so bad. So many holes in it. The upside, <laughs> Kelly's like, great. Nobody's yeah. asking her detail. <laughs> Fantastic. Just right. keep it best. <laughs> but I have to imagine somewhere in Kelly's brain is she's like, I know mm -hmm. that she's gonna get an idol right. out of something here. Yeah, something's going on where she's trying to get an idol. I would have liked a little bit more from Kelly being like, so if she's the caller, does she get the uh -huh. idol? Like, could Kelly put all of that together? And she might have. Yes. Because then they're like, well, let's practice. Yeah. And immediately, right off the bat. Dan can't take it. Nora's trying to tell Dan to take five steps forward, and he's like, what does forward mean? Yeah. Like, wh where am I supposed to go? You can't say I'm supposed to come towards you. You have to say left or right. You know, he's very type A, controlling. It would not have mattered if she mm -hmm. had done this perfectly. No. They were going to pick her apart yeah. because she's not the person they want to listen to. No. So it doesn't matter. This whole practice is it's useless. It's a charade. Yeah. It's just for them to, like, be annoyed at her. Right. But what they cooked up was really good. So good. Also really cutthroat and ruthless. Oh my gosh, yeah. But really good. Uh-huh. So they go to the immunity challenge. And of course, Vokai has more people than Lyro because of the way the tribals have worked out. So someone's got to sit out on Vokai. And everyone's like, They don't miss a Nora. beat. It's they don't Nora. miss a beat. And Nora. she's like, Nora? She's like, wait, wait what? Wait a minute. I, you, I'm sitting out? And they're like, yep. Nora, why don't you go take a seat? And now she doesn't do any persuading now. No. She just literally was like, okay, and yeah. walks off. And I was like, well, there was still a lesson here. Yeah. You still have a vote at risk. No. Nope. Uh, say I would be like, no, 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 you guys, we went through this. I'm like, the caller. This is it. You guys agreed I'm the caller, so someone else sits out. Like, I would not have just walked yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. But, but she I guess... did, and they... We're genius. She's lacking that power of persuasion that yeah. Robin Sandra tried to teach her. What is amazing? Yeah. Ah, I love it. <laughs> yes. So she's sitting out. Okay, this and challenge. And then we've got Jason and Elizabeth. Yes, the two as callers. the callers. This challenge always makes me laugh. Yes. Because blind blindfolded people running into things is it's hilarious. Amazing. Yes. And the callers. It's never flawless. Like, there's mm -hmm. no really amazing strategy at this because you got two people calling and yelling. That's right. You've got a lot of like, turn, run, yeah. ah. you know, it's like, yeah. it's just a, it's uh -huh. a hot mess. Behind you. Yeah, yeah, it's like a lot of messiness. But Jason does do pretty well. Mm -hmm. His his group is ahead. Yep. They're they leading. Really I felt like Elizabeth might not have been loud enough. There was something about her voice. You know, we're not there. We don't hear. Yeah. Of course, it's like edited a certain way. But it just felt like she wasn't, her voice isn't maybe pingy enough or she wasn't loud like enough. Hearing. It just didn't seem to be as effective as I Jason's I kind of felt like reason. maybe Missy has that like military like. Sure. Two steps forward. Like right. something like dupe. Behind you. You know, yeah. like really from the diaphragm kind of Because like thing. I think me and Elizabeth are similar. We're like, run over. And it's like, you can't hear that. <laughs> yeah, right. And so, of course, like, so Vokai gets an early lead. Okay. And then, of course, you've got Dean and Chelsea. So the strategy that Elizabeth oh. deploys is to send out three sets of pairs. Yes. And Dean and Chelsea are one of the pairs. And I don't, listen, I don't want to pile on Dean too much. Listen, but he Dean's in the show, you guys. is not <laughs> doing a whole lot for this tribe. And they <laughs> just really play up in the edit how much Dean is yeah, not hearing Elizabeth. They're just Dean and Chelsea. She's like are just behind right. you, and he's like reaching in front, he reaching like to went the left. Over when he should have gone under, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, straight was. up didn't listen to her at one point. Yeah, it doesn't look good that yeah. in every challenge Dean is just not just a dead fish. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, Vokai is just pretty full steam ahead. Yep. They, they are get to the they get to first. the puzzle first, mm -hmm. and like I love the way Jason did this puzzle. Yes, he is like calm. He is fairly quiet. Focus. Okay, do this. And like, I think Kelly was the perfect person yes. because she's also calm and like uh -huh. doing exactly what he says. Yes. Slide it to the left. Yep. Slide it to, like if, they were a good duo. It felt like they were speaking the same language. Yes. You know, she was like 
interpreting what he was saying exactly. And no one's getting frantic. Yeah. All, right. all good. So, but eventually we see Lyra get up to the puzzle. Yes, and Aaron's on the puzzle, and Elizabeth is calling. You know him moving the pieces, and it seems like they're really putting it together quickly. Jeff is building the tension. This is going to be one of the greatest comebacks in Survivor history. You know, They've one got of a those things. To come back. And then Aaron pounds it down. He's got the puzzle figured out, but it's wrong. It's wrong. Now we see Jason like pause, and he's like, something's not right. Uh -huh. And that allows Elizabeth and Aaron to like speed yeah. through. Go, 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 go. But it seems like maybe they both had the same mistake. Jason caught it. They didn't catch it. So Jeff's like, no, it's wrong. Yeah, right. And then Jason and Kelly are still fixing what they were doing. And then boom, boom they do get it. it. So Vokai wins again. And Dang. Lyro is headed to Tribal Council for the second week in a row. Okay. Well, we are saying at this point... Dean. Dean's gotta go. Are you kidding me, Dean? A, he has brought nothing. Nothing. So far, okay? Barely even any camera time. Yes. What camera time he has gotten has been it's not, not stellar. Good, okay? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It doesn't look like you're contributing a whole lot. It doesn't. Listen, I'm sure you are, okay? I'm like, sure I don't right. want to be too mean. You're a lovely person. You're a lovely person. We just haven't seen a lot of good stuff right. from you lately. So we're like, Dean's gotta go. Dean's gotta go. They oh, already we... talked about this coupling that needs yes, to be broken that's up. That's the other thing. He's so in the showman. Dean, it, it, it's gotta be Dean. Gotta be Dean. And of course, Aaron and Missy are like, that's what we're doing. Yes. Well, at first, it's it's Karishma. Well, Woe is me. The... I'm on the outs. These people of course, of course. don't want me here. I'm on the bottom. Wham, wham, wham. But she's not really doing anything to plead her case or like offer any kind this of like incentive what to is keep her. Bothering us with Karishma. Mm -hmm. We have loved her since preseason. Yes. You have this girl's alliance built in, basically. Right. Like, I just feel like she's in her head. Obviously, we're not seeing everything, mm -hmm. but it's like, please step up to the plate. Please right. continue to play the game right. because right. you have a chance. And I just want to see some conversation of her going to that all girls alliance yes. and saying, how are we voting? Yes. What are we thinking? Like, try. not, I guess it's me. I guess it's me. She just, just feels like she's giving up yeah. in a lot of ways, which is frustrating to watch. Right. But then, you know, like Sarah said, interestingly, at the well, Aaron and Missy are saying to Elizabeth, like, we definitely think we should go for Dean. We've got to break up the showmance. And Missy's like, what is he bringing to the tribe? Like, I don't really understand. He's not helping us win any challenges. So, like, let's get him out. Yeah. And Elizabeth's like, I'm not really ready to get Dean out because Dean at least yeah, is helping right? around camp. He's, like, yeah, gathering firewood. she seems fire like wood. soups against Karishma. Yeah. So she's like, huh. She goes to Elaine, mm -hmm. and Elaine's like, doing what Aaron says. Like, yeah. Why? She's like, I don't like this shadiness because, yeah. you know, that they, they want to leave out Tom. They want to leave out Chelsea. I don't know. I forget who they want yeah, to leave out Yeah, it was Tom and vote. Chelsea that yeah. they would have to leave out because they're not going to get the votes. Like, right. they'd fight back and be like, no, you can't go after Dean. Mm -hmm. So those two, you can't tell. Uh, so they're doing it piece by piece, yeah. piece and they need Elaine's vote. And Elaine's like, oh, She's I'm not down I'm with not that. I'm not down with that. So then Elizabeth goes back to Missy and Aaron and, and she's is like, like, We do not have a lane. We don't have a lane. Yeah. So, I don't know what to do. Yeah. But Missy is so darn smart. Yeah. Missy's like, Okay, fine. Ugh, what? We'll keep uh, Dean. Why, why are you fighting with me? But okay. Fine. What can we do? Who, who can I get people on board? And that just, ugh, I love, I love yes. it. I love yeah. the way she's thinking. Yeah. Because, how do you pivot? Yeah. You gotta pivot. Because for Missy, the whole thing is like, Again, we've said it before this in this video. Karishma is a vote for me. I don't need Missy's thinking, I don't need to get Karishma out for my game. Maybe she's not helping us win immunity challenges, but she is in my camp, so I don't need to get rid of her. What I need to do is break up that showman's. Okay, if you're not gonna go for Dean, will you go for Chelsea? Yeah. And Elaine, I think at this point, was like well, I can't really say no again. Yeah. I don't really like this. Like Elaine very much comes away from this like, woo, Missy. Yeah. I gotta keep my eye on you because yeah. you're dropping names like this. It's right. so easy for you to find a new target. When is that target gonna be me? Mm -hmm. That's what Elaine is thinking. But I also think Elaine is like, I can't put up too much resistance because then she is gonna pivot to me. Yeah. And Missy did a good job. Like Missy doesn't bark orders like Aaron does. Mm -hmm. Missy's like, okay, look. A couple, yeah. a duo. You know we gotta break it up. Good. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying no to Dean, like she, she was giving reasons. She was explaining why that's dangerous. Yeah. And on some level, Elaine has to admit, mm -hmm. okay, I see what she's saying. It is a threat. And so, hey, okay, you're right, Dean, Elaine, like uh, uh, Chelsea. 
okay, let's yeah. figure it out. Right. So I think Elaine sees what's going on. Yeah. Missy and Aaron, uh -huh. they're tough cookies. Yes. Keep your eye on them. Absolutely. But we got to work together as a tribe. And so. That's right. We walk away going, who the heck is getting yeah. voted out tonight? <laughs> right. Exactly. What is like, editing How many all more over times the place? did they pivot before yeah. they got to tribal? Like, I don't even know. Yeah. Well, we go to tribal. We go to tribal. And Karishma starts by saying, you know, I'm only here because of the survivor gods, which I think is 100% accurate because we're certainly not here because Karishma's playing a great game. No, we're not. She says that, and Missy is sort and then Elaine is saying, well, I'm just lost in all the plans. I don't know what's going on. Every second I turn around and it's a new name being dropped. And I think that Sandra. is her saying, yep. I'm not in control. Yes. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. Yeah. Uh, Sandra from her little box was like, this girl doesn't know what's going on. And I was like, Sandra, don't fall for that. Yeah. <laughs> this is an act yeah. by country girl Elaine. Because I think Elaine does know uh, exactly yes. what's going on because she's been looped into every conversation. She's looped in. Yeah. She sees who's saying what mm -hmm. she's gonna act like this for a little while that's right but this is just yeah this is just her character she's just gathering yeah. intel right now she's not trying to rock the boat she's just trying to find out who's running the show and i think she's realizing now aaron and missy are kind of in charge yeah so i gotta keep my eye out for them so elaine's trying to put the target off of her and get in you know just fade into the background a little bit and missy mm -hmm. in my opinion said a little too much she came a little too hard now she's, tell us why she's just saying things yeah. and it sounds like she's in charge yeah. she's talking about how karishma's being lapped mm -hmm. she's you know she's throwing out some really smart things words of wisdom yeah she's making lots of sense right. but i just felt like mm, it doesn't need to come out of your mouth yeah when the tribe is already learning that you're making the decisions right right don't like throw it in everyone's face. Like, uh -huh. are you trying to make a target of yourself? It's right. It's like this move is all, if you get Chelsea out yeah. or Dean out, we don't know who's going home at this point. If your plan works, it's already going on your yeah. resume. You don't need to drive that point home. No. And remind everybody that you masterminded this plan. No, you know? and you don't need to make Ch Karishma feel like yeah. she's like worthless. Like she already kind of mm -hmm. knows. Yeah. So like, <laughs> don't rub it in her face, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, uh, I'm i loving Missy, but I was like, eh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait. right. I love Missy because she is, she keeps saying like, I'm here to play Survivor. Some yeah. of these people are here for vacation and she's like frustrated by that. <laughs> but I'm like, part of successfully playing Survivor is laying low at the being, beginning being of the game. A bit under the it's radar. a long game. Yeah. Okay, you got a lot of time to make big moves. Yeah. You haven't even made it to the merge yet. This mm -hmm. is the fourth elimination. Slow your roll a little slow, bit. Slow, slow, slow. But she comes hard. Yes. We do hear a little bit about blindside a lot about versus. That. And also, Elaine's like, yeah, there's one plan and another plan. And, and plan then Z. Plan Z might be the last one that you hear, so it might just be that one. Mm -hmm. And that's when you see <laughs> some faces. Yes. Chelsea and Dean both uh -huh. were just doing hmm. a bit of this. Yeah. Because they were only looped into one. Yes. Plan. That's right. And we even hear a little bit from Chelsea in this tribal yeah. about like, you just never know when your name is going to get thrown out. There were like things like that yeah. where I'm like, Chelsea, you better take your own advice. Mm -hmm. You got that idol in your pocket. Mm -hmm. We got a little foreshadowing about that idol earlier in the episode. Yeah. How she knows that, you know, Karishma doesn't have an idol because she's the one who has it. So I'm like, Chelsea, you better have that idol with you because... You're telling everybody else in the tribe to be conscious that maybe their name is being thrown out. You should be conscious that maybe your name is being thrown out. Yeah, she's like, I, I really wouldn't want to be blindsided. <laughs> uh, and you can kind of see the wheels turning in both of them. Yeah. But it wasn't enough because votes go to be written down. We don't Even see anybody's vote. Rob and Sandra are like, look. Yeah. I got, I don't know. It could be anybody. Who is it? And yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Uh huh. And then no one plays an idol, Chelsea. No one plays an idol. No one. The first two votes are obviously Dean and, Dean Chelsea's, and Chelsea's votes they're for Karishma. Karishma. Yeah. And then Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. and then her and face. And we're like, She's it's done. Like, they did it. That was it. And they got her out. Now this tribe, twice in a row, has sent someone home with an idol in their pocket. 
What? How is that happening? This is insane. <laughs> and you guys, I just want to point out, Chelsea is the one who applied and applied and applied and applied, oh, has no. applied more than anyone in the history of Survivor. I feel so bad for her. She finally like bought him a drink in the restaurant. This dramatic story. story. Yes. And she finally gets on this year and she is fourth out. <sighs> So sad. With an idol? <laughs> oh, that's heartbreaking. I know. And she just like had there was just so much promise with her. Like I so felt like she promise. knew this game so well. She'd found that idol so early on. Like that's very promising. And then she's just got a great personality too. And she sort of felt like I've got Dean and that me yes. I'm gonna go far in this game with him. Right. Maybe she thinks he's gonna be a meat shield. Right. And I just couldn't help but be reminded of, I forget exactly what season it was, but it was Jessica and Cole where they were in a little bit of a showmance. Yep. And in breaking up that showmance, they sent the woman home first. And I feel like that's a trend in Survivor <gasps> and Chelsea is just the latest victim of it and that is such a bummer. It is a trend, but I really felt like the Lyro ladies were gonna buck all those trends. Yeah. And I know they tried to get Dean first mm -hmm. and there was a wrinkle in that plan, but I just can't believe that yeah. Missy felt her like backup plan yeah. was a female. I know. Was Chelsea like, ugh, come on. But her whole thing, even with getting Karishma out, was like, well, you know, we can get Karishma out and we'll still have a female majority. Yeah, that's true. So I guess you but get I'm Chelsea like, out. You get Chelsea out? And doesn't that just kind of break up the all-female alliance? Because then every single female has to think, okay, well, we already voted Chelsea out, so yeah. when am I next? Right. You know? Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, Missy doesn't have Chelsea, I guess, mm -hmm. as strong as she thinks she has Karishma. Yeah. So she's okay to go. I don't yeah. know. My heart is broken for Chelsea. Yes. I really feel for her. That's and her, a bummer. And her exit interview was like, <laughs> so, it was like, oh, I really feel bad for you because yes. she just felt, she was so disappointed and felt so dumb I mean, for leaving with an idol in her pocket. Walking out with an idol has just got to be the most painful thing. She's devastated. Yeah. So it's too hard. It's that too was hard. too bad for her. But the, look, the upside to this season mm -hmm. is that we loved the cast overall. There's yeah. so many strong players That's right. that we are collectively rooting for. Yes. So we're going to lose people that we like mm -hmm. and that we feel we're going to go far. Right. Because there's a lot of them. Right. And the fact is, I think we've had four blindsides so far this season. So like these people are here for blood, like they are here to play this game hard. Yep. And they don't want to go the easy route. There's no such thing as an easy vote so far this season. No. If because if there were, Karishma would be gone. Any, so yeah. Any signs of being a target. Yeah. You're out. You're gone. You're gone. Yeah. But next week. Drop your buffs. What? We're mixing it up. So Lyro mixing has been struggling a little too much. And yeah. so they're like, okay, we got to switch up the tribe a little bit. It's, it's too it. imbalanced. And that's no good for the Lyro people because now likely they're going to be in the minority on at least one of these tribes because there's just fewer Lyros than Vokais in general. So, and so split up. we don't know if we're going to three or two. Or two, right. Exactly. That makes a big difference. It does. And I think I lean towards keeping it at two. Yeah. But I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I know. I'm open to it. Yeah. And we saw a little bit of like, you know, Dean's kind of salty with Missy. And she's like, yeah, it was me. I got your girlfriend. Now, what are you going to do about <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, Dean, what are you going to do? But like, who knows if they're even on the same tribe. Right. Like, we don't know if that was pre, you know, drop your buffs or post. So right. we'll see how that all plays out next week. But I always yeah. love a drop your, drop your buffs moment. Absolutely. I mean, this is an opportunity for Karishma to start over. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully some people can stick with their buddy buddies. Right, right. And sometimes with these drop your buffs things, like there's an odd man out. Yes. Maybe that odd man out goes to Island of the Idols. Right. You know, who knows how these twists are gonna, you know, interact with each other. So yeah. it'll be a fun episode next if week. If you're like Kelly and you're like on a, a new group, do you go, has, has anyone been to uh -huh. the Idol? Right, yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what do you know about it? Right, right, right. Like this is the time where people start uh, comparing notes uh -huh. and seeing, luckily both the stories we've heard so far had urns involved. So yeah, right. maybe it won't be too different, mm -hmm. but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Yes, what did you guys think about this crazy Chelsea blindside? I know, and who do you hope, how do you hope the new yes. tribe configuration works right. out next week? Who needs week? to be together, yeah. who needs to be separated. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we will be back on Monday for a live stream, yes. and then obviously back for the next week's episode. All right, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye. bye.